Apart from the miraculous characteristic of the Qur'an, which we have looked into so far, it also has a mathematical miracle. An example of this is the numbers of repetitions of some words in the Qur'an. Some related words are surprisingly repeated the same number of times. Below are such words and the numbers of their repetitions in the Qur'an. The word day is repeated 365 times in singular form, while its plural and dual forms, days, together are repeated 30 times. The number of repetitions of the word moon is 12. The word punishment is repeated 117 times, while the expression forgiveness, which is one of the basic principles of the Qur'an, is repeated exactly twice as many times. The number of times the words world and hereafter are repeated is also the same, 115. The statement of seven heavens is repeated seven times. The creation of the heavens is also repeated seven times. The word faith, iman, without genitive, is repeated 25 times throughout the Qur'an, as is also the word infidelity, or covering over the truth, kufr. The word zakah is repeated 32 times, while the number of repetitions of the word blessing is also 32. The expression, the truly virtuous, is used six times, but libertine is used half as much, i.e. three times. Human being is used 65 times. The sum of the number of mentions of the stages of man's creation is the same. All that we have seen so far shows us an apparent fact. The Qur'an is such a book that all the news related in it has proved to be true and facts that no one could ever have known at that time were announced in its verses. Certainly this provides clear evidence that the Qur'an is not the word of man. The Qur'an is the word of God the originator of everything and the Almighty who encompasses everything with his knowledge. In a verse, God remarks on the Qur'an, if it had been from other than God, they would have found many inconsistencies in it. Not only are there no inconsistencies in the Qur'an, Every piece of information it contains reveals the miracle of this divine book more and more each day. What falls to man is to hold fast to this divine book revealed by God and receive it as his one and only guide. In one of the verses, God calls out to us, and this is a book we have sent down and blessed, so follow it and have fear of God, so that hopefully you will gain mercy.